Driver, sequencer, handshake. How does a sequencer communicate with a driver? The driver class contains a TLM port called UVM underscore SEQ underscore item underscore put underscore port, which is connected to a UVM SEQ item pool export and the sequencer and connect with phase of a UVM agent. The driver can use TLM functions to get the next item from the sequencer when required. Why do we need the driver sequencer API method? These API methods help the driver to get a series of uh, sequence items from the sequencer's FIFO that contains the data for the driver to drive to the beauty. Also, there is a way for the driver to communicate back with the sequence that it has me finished driving the given sequence item and can request for the next item. What is port in driver code? Declaration for the TLM port can be found in the class definition of UVM driver and UVM sequencer as follows. What is the TLM port in sequencer code? A UVM underscore sequencer has an inbuilt TLM pool implementation port called SE. Q underscore item underscore export, which is used to connect with the driver's pull port. How is the driver connected to a sequencer? The port in UVM driver is connected to the export in UVM sequencer and the connect phase of the UVM component in which both the driver and sequencer are instantiated. Typically, a driver and sequencer are instantiated in a UVM agent. The connect between the driver and sequencer is a one-to-one -one connection. Multiple drivers are not connected to a sequencer, nor are multiple sequencers connected to a single driver. Once the connection is made, the driver can utilize API calls in the TLM port connections to receive sequence items from the sequencer. So the next is UVM get underscore next items. UVM driver is a child of a UVM component that has a TLM port to communicate with the sequencer. The driver is a parameterized class with a type of request and response sequence items. This, part, this allows the driver to send back a different sequence item type back to the sequencer as the response. However, most drivers use, use a, a response object of the same type as request sequence item. The UVM driver gets request sequence items REQ from the sequencer 5 using a handshake mechanism and optionally returns the response sequence item RSP back to the sequencer response 5 There are primarily two ways for the driver to get a sequence item from the sequencer. In this article, we will look at an example that uses the first style. Using get underscore next underscore item method in a driver. In this case, the driver requests for a sequence item from the sequencer using the get underscore next underscore item method. Through the SAQ underscore item underscore port TLM handle. Since the implementation of this port is defined in the sequencer, the function core makes uh, sorry the function core makes 
the sequencer to pop an item from its internal FIFO and provide it to the driver via, via the argument provided in next underscore sorry get underscore next underscore item method. So once the driver gets the next item, it can drive the data in the receive sequence item to the DUT via virtual interface handle. After the driver has finished driving the item, it has to it has to let the sequencer know that the process has finished using item underscore done method. Now, how does the sequencer get these sequence item? A UVM sequence is started on sequencer, which pushes the sequence item onto the sequencer's FIFO. Example, to illustrate how to do get and put method calls between driver and sequencer work. Let us build a simple test bench structure like the one shown below. Next, define a sequence item. To keep things simple, let us define a transition object class that will become the sequence item used for sequencer driver communication. Assume that this sequence item contains two variables called ADDR and data. Note that this class is derived from UVM underscore sequence underscore item. Class my data extends UVM sequence items. Mm. Last of the class content comes here. Define the driver. The UVM driver is parameterized to accept a class object of the type my data and the driver is expected to unpack this class object and drive a signal appropriately to the DUT via the interface. Define the sequence. A sequence item is always started using the start item and finish item method. And define the test class. To keep things simple, let us directly create instance of the driver and sequence sequencer inside the test class. Driver and sequencer should be instanced inside an agent. An agent is instantiated in the environment and the environment in turn should be created in the test. And then next is use using get and put. In the previous article, we saw how a UVM driver gets the next item by calling get underscore next underscore item method and how it inf informs the sequencer that the current item is done. Although this is preferred way to way for driver sequencer communications, UVM also gives us an alternative for a more complex implementation. The other way is for the driver to use the get method to drive next to items and later use put to give us a response item back to the sequencer. So what is driver code for get and put calls? How does the sequence start and stop an item? An example, to illustrate how the get and the put method calls between driver and sequencer work, let us build a simple test structure like the one shown below. Define a sequence item. To keep things simple, let us define a transition object class, will, class that will that will become the sequence item used for sequence and driver communication. Assume that this sequence item contains two variables called ADDR and data. Define the driver. 
the event driver is parameterized to accept a class object of the type my underscore data and the driver is expected to unpack the, this class object and uh, drive the class appropriate to the UT via the interface. And define the sequence. A sequence item is always started using the start item and a finish method. Define the test class. To keep things simple, let us directly create instances of the driver and sequencer inside the test class. Driver and sequencer should be instantiated into an agent. An agent is instantiated in an environment, and the environment in turn should be created in test. Note that the finish item finished at time zero nano, even before even before the driver started doing the pin wiggling should happen during the two nanosecond delay in this example. The get response method is done at the at time 20 nanosecond when the driver sends back the response item. It is also evident from the log the data modified in the request packet within the driver can be obtained inside the sequence. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your time.